Let's move on to a movie that comes out in a couple of weeks. I'm super excited for this movie. Whether or not I ever get to see it, I have no idea. But uh, it's this movie called The Batman. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it stars uh, Robert Pattinson, Colin. For we don't need to go into who it stars. Everybody knows These the hockey pads. <laughs> <laughs> every day warner brothers is dropping a new clip from this movie it's kind of starting to drive me a little nuts i don't need to see any more <laughs> uh, any more from the batman I, I have enough of it but we're going to talk about it because we should and we and we want to it's gonna be fun whether or not it's another you who knows what universe this takes place in if it flashes anything to do with it probably not it's going to be what it, it is going to be but for time and time and time. So if you guys, oh, by the way, this is going to be all like spoiler talk. None of what we're going to say is confirmed. But if you are big Batman fans and you're worried about getting ruined, uh, just walk away right now because you won't want to stick around for this just in case. So we're going to get right into it. But there has been rumors going around for some time that, um, isn't it Barry Keegan? Is How, how do you say it? Keegan? Is that how you say his last name? Co I think oh, so. Yeah, yeah. He might play the Joker. His brother apparently rumored leaked that at some point saying there's going to be in it. Dang. I'm not. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I didn't know where that came well, from. That's a pretty a... solid source. <laughs> but, it... <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Apparently, apparently there were two versions that they were showing around. One that had that and one that did not. So mm. whether or not that takes place, we don't know. The other thing I got to talk about that really actually excites me even more, because we look, my thing with the Joker is the Joker's fantastic. Obviously, he's a great villain, blah, blah, blah. But we've seen him, right? He's in the in 89 Batman. He shows up in Dark Knight. He, he, Just, Justice League, does he need to keep showing up? The Joker movie, obviously. So maybe he does because he makes a billion dollars. But mm. what excites me even more is we talked about this last week a little bit, is this rogues gallery of villains that, that Matt Reeves has promised. He said that this is actually the origin story for the the rogues villain characters that you meet. So Catwoman, Riddler, Penguin, Falcone. This is their, uh, their origin story. It's not Batman's, it's theirs. And what's cool, though, is that we also talked about that like two or three years ago, there was a rumor that there would be seven villains in this movie. Joker would be the fifth if I'm counting properly, don't know the seventh, but the sixth one, guys, could be a street thug, street level drug dealer who goes by the name of the Mad Hatter. Hell and I yeah. and look, this is could be all fake, right? We don't know. This is just bogus talk and whatever. But I was like, I'm into that because it's the Mad Hatter. He's kind of like using him like the scarecrow in the dark Knight movies. You keep him as a drug level dealer. He could grow into something bigger if you wanted to him to in future films, but you keep him there. He is what he is. Batman sees him, whatever, whatever. And you move on. And one thing that always drives me nuts when they, with these superhero movies is everyone always complains. There's too many characters. You're putting in too many <laughs> characters, but the movie that has the most characters is the dark Knight, which is like everyone's favorite movie if you go through the characters, now it might not be the upper echelon of Batman villains, but there's a lot of characters from the comics and made up for that movie in that in in there that they use, and they use them right. They use them for the story. So if you could take these characters, the top tier Batman villains, and throw them in here and use them to weave your story in and out, I'm all in on it. And I say the Mad Hatter is this weird villain who was in the Adam West show, and that's how I know the Mad Hatter, but has become something, you know, has done other things, but he's never appeared in, in a feature film. I'm right here right now, guys, to say, let's bring in the Mad Hatter, and if he's not in it, we will revolt. <laughs> You're on your own on that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I think the idea of him being a drug lord or a small-level uh, criminal in this plays perfectly. What do you guys think? My only experience with the Mad Hatter, if we're going that route, is from Gotham, and I was not there for it. I did not care for that portrayal of him whatsoever. So I'd be interested to see another take on it, something a lot more grounded in reality, I guess. But I don't have I'm not, I don't have the excited connection to it. I'm not. I, 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 if he's there, he's there. If he's not, I don't care. Well, that's the thing, right? You keep you keep him small. You don't. He's not the Riddler. He's not the Penguin. He's here, right? And if and if mm -hmm. he works out, and if the actor that you get is someone that people are drawn to, then you can slowly create him as a as a bigger villain. Scotty, what do you think? I like it. The only reason I would be hesitant is because, and it's it makes sense. We may have already seen his underlings, the guys with the paint. Like that is, could be a complete misdirect from the Joker. 
but it could also it's gonna trigger people it could subvert some expectations of the joker so if they do mad hatter they gotta toe that line maybe not make up maybe different color scheme <laughs> i don't know but i could just see like if trailers start to hint at this kind of a look everyone's like oh my god we're gonna get the joker and then we don't get it i don't know i think we're getting them all teased at the very least like the, the movie is too long not to have all these little easter eggs you know so yeah, i want scarecrow be- too though so uh, think- well that could be your seventh right there right mm-hmm. and like and the thing with scarecrow and i don't but i don't know if if reeves is gonna be into it i'm surprised that nolan even was it's like that is kind of like what we we're saying about the multiverse of madness a little while ago, he's your gateway into doing whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Is the scarecrow in his in his because he gets right? into the minds? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like he's your gateway to go get a little bit out there, a little bit crazy, and they do that in Batman Begins, right? They have like they make Batman look like a creature at one point, right? Mm-hmm. They, they get he get he can he can get there, and you can get there even further if you want. So I think Scarecrow would be great. That could be your seventh villain. I don't know. If, I mean, also that seven villain thing was again. That was like three years ago. Like it was so long ago. This movie has been going on for so long because COVID delayed it, delayed it, delayed it, and I think Pattinson got COVID. It just it's been so long. I'm really excited for it though. Do you guys think that if we get a Joker in this movie, is it like the end of the movie? Like kind of like not Batman Begins, but in in the Batman Begins kind of way where it's a tease to future. Or is that, so. or is, or is the Joker like already a villain? Well, we know he exists. He's, he he's just not the he's just not the main antagonist of this film. And actually, we might he might. We don't know who killed this Bruce Wayne's parents, but he does have the gun in the in the yeah. chest plate armor. So we know that the event has taken place. And if we're to assume that the Joker was the causation or the outcome afterwards dudes out there doing something. I think uh, Gotham has to like fall more into chaos or anarchy before they reveal that like he was actually the one pulling the strings or he was the one that got that made it. I think it'd be cool if the Joker was making these villains do these things to bring out the Batman. And that he was the one ultimately pulling the strings and forcing these. I think we talked about this last week, but like yeah, forcing the villains that. to get killed, like putting the penguin at risk, but offering the penguin a deal he couldn't, you know, refuse because the Joker isn't going to kill the Batman himself. Yeah. So, Steve, you think that this, if the Joker isn't, it's going to be a tease like Batman begins? I do. I mean, I, and that's what I'm hoping for. I'm rooting for. I, I don't want Joker in like. To have a role in this movie, he like the the idea of the Joker. I'm okay with the the idea of the Joker being in uh, involved with all of this. I just don't want to see it. And if we do, I want to see it at the end, just because it'll take too much. I want to see I it wonder... like the, the. So go ahead. Well, I, well, um, I hope I'm saying his name. Barry Keegan. His he's cr- if you go if you Google it, he is credited in this movie as like a cop or something. And I, I kind of think it might be cool if the Riddler is actually responsible for the creation of the Joker. And the, and as this movie goes on, his cop character falls deeper and deeper into madness. And then towards the end, maybe half, it's three hours. I don't know. Maybe an hour and a half. Who knows? <laughs> he's like, all of a sudden he's like a psycho and he's like, Oh, whoopsie daisy. I'm the Joker now. And like, the fact that, that be- Batman is like this with the cops of the city. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this, that, I think that could be an intriguing way to do it. Whether or not they will, I don't know. I mean, I, it depends on what, on how they feel like portraying the Joker, I guess, in this, right? Could be either with the J- Jack Nicholson one when the, the vat of acid, um, Jared Leto's obviously the same type of thing. Uh, the J- Joker, Joaquin Phoenix is, you know, just society. And then we have uh, Heath Ledger, which is just a mystery. We don't know what's up with that, right? It's just a guy in and clown makeup. Not for nothing, like, historically, the Joker, like, this is a plot that he would pull off. The Riddler, you know, he's a Riddler for sure, but he's not like he's not infamous for trying to lure out the Batman with riddles like he leaves riddles behind for his crimes. But but this Riddler is calling out the Batman. This Riddler is trying to expose the Batman. These are all things the Joker does. 
that's trying to make True, his I... life a living hell. He, you know, he doesn't have to kill this guy. He just wants people to know that he's out here doing the same things that he's like, he's creating chaos. Absolutely. So if I asked you guys right now, who are the like top four or five Batman villains? Who would you say? Not the that top we, of your head. That just, we want to no, see or no, no, just, just, just in general, like top four, ba- four or five Batman villains. The first ones that come to mind, who are they? Oh, the Joker. Joker. Mm-hmm. Raj Al Ghul. So oh. Ghul. Okay, no, don't. The t- <laughs> I forget I my second I, answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm, okay, anyway, you guys are wrong. If you, the, the, the top Batman villains that any, like, like anybody walking down the street would think would obviously be Joker, Riddler, Penguin, Catwoman. Yes. Mad Hatter. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but those ones, right? Joker, Riddler. Who, the only one of those that's not in this movie is the Joker. Mm-hmm. Is that because the Joker's overused, or is that because they're hiding the Joker? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get him first movie. I think they're hiding him. I think they're waiting. Yep. They're building it up. I don't disagree, but I also think if you're gonna bring the Joker out, the this Riddler plot could be the one to do it. Like, I, it just, it, it, like, if this is the origin story of all of the Rogues Gallery that we're seeing, I don't know. I just seven. I goals. am imagining a Dark Knight trilogy that does not have to pivot because of the tragedy towards the Raza Ghoul Bane stuff because they're going to introduce a Joker in the second movie and then be able to tell out their outcome for that Joker. Whereas, you know, rest yeah. in peace, Heath Ledger, they kind of had to pause that, they did, you know, yeah. regard, yeah. Re- regardless of what you wanted to think, the idea of the first three movies was probably pretty well thought out. Well, David before. S. Goyer also said in all the interviews that he said the mistake the movies made were killing the Joker. And he said, we won't kill the Joker. We're going to leave him. Yeah. And then obviously, you know, the tragedy oh, yeah. obviously struck what and they, they had no choice. Yeah. And then you have mm-hmm. no choice and respectfully they did what they did. And I actually like Dark Knight Rises. So mm-hmm. take that, haters. 